A lot of people, when they come for a visit to the wall, they make a rubbing of a name, a relative, a friend, someone that may share their last name if it's a school kid that doesn't have a direct connection. When the wall was first designed, we didn't expect that that was going to happen. It just started happening organically when the wall was dedicated in 1982 and now has become something that many people do as part of their visit. It says a couple of things. One is they can come and they can see that we feel the sacrifices of our Vietnam veterans is so important that we have permanently inscribed these names in stone. And we've set aside a place that our nation honors our Vietnam veterans on the National Mall. It's that important. Not only can they see the value that our country now places on the sacrifices of those who wore the uniform and served their country, but they can also take a part of it home when they do that rubbing. So they can continue that experience when they take it home and maybe they'll frame it or put it somewhere special. And they can have their own memory in a way of remembering those that lost their lives.